Hey folks, Matthew Boxler here with some live <laughs> video from Carbon, um, Carbon, 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 Wyoming. I'm in transit between uh, a couple of foundation locations heading for Bend, Oregon. And um, tonight we're talking about part four, and that's part four of... Uh, I'm actually doing live audio streaming, I'm pretty sure right now, but if you can see me, that's cool too, because uh, internet's a little bit on the, shall we say, um, sketchy out here. Mm. Um, so, the first piece, we do a quick review on things, and the first piece is demand. And demand is something in our world that's always thought that it's put upon us. Someone's demanding us to be something. But if you turn it around from the space of you as an infinite being, you're going to find out that if you put the demand upon yourself to be whatever it is you're asking for in the world around you, things start happening really quick. It's pretty cool. So once you find a demand for a quality or a thing in your life, the next thing to do is to ask a question. And in the question space, question creates awareness. Awareness is all the different things that will pop up, but they won't actually show up, those new possibilities, until you ask a question. Why is this? Because the universe operates on question, and most of us on our cute little planet Earth here operate on answer. Answer only gives you one possibility, question gives you multiple avenues of different possibilities in your future. Um, so as you ask a question, then multiple possibilities will show up. As possibilities show up, you just have to pick one or two if you're daring. And once you pick them, choice shows up. So this is where a lot of us um, really get stuck um, as creative humanoids. Um, and because we figure we want to see all the possibilities and how it's all going to fall together before we choose. But you actually have to choose before the future starts to actualize and is created. So once you've made a choice of what these things are, we get to jump into the, well, one of my favorite things, which is called contribution. Now, contribution um, is a lovely thing. Um, because, well, it means so many things. It encapsulates contributing to yourself, contributing to others. Um, just being in this generosity of spirit and contributing energy to wherever it's being asked for. Um, and from the infinite being point of view that you can have, because you that's the part of you that will be here after your body has died, um, that's always been here and is totally unlimited, its point of view is, why wouldn't I contribute to everything? Um, our world often, most of our world seems to be in an interesting, uh, how shall we say this? It's just kind of like a loop of not receiving. And if you're not receiving, you don't want to contribute. You think you're like a battery that's going to run out of, run out of juice. So contribution uh, what you want to do is actually contribute to your choices now how that works is um, contribution has two different aspects there's there's uh, you contribute energy you don't actually have to give people gold or silver or whatever it is like that um, it's a contribution of energy and so you can contribute energy and you can flow energy so if uh, everyone would like to just <clears throat> close their eyes and relax, take a little chill pill for a second, tell your eyes it's okay, they've done a lot of work today. They can take a little nap and relax and sink back into the sockets and say hello to your body. Hello, hello cute little body. Thank you for being here with me through all of this. And now if you can Take your awareness and expand outwards, outwards. And acknowledge, is there a sense of ease that starts to happen in your world if you, as you do this? Often we're all trying to contract in tightly so we can keep the control factor of things in place. 
But the reality is, is if you choose to be an energetic being from the space of being more space instead of less space, a tremendous amount more is possible. Now, as you expand out, would you put a little bit of your choices, whatever those things you may be choosing with these five elements of creation, put those choices out into the energy in front of you and just ask them if they could expand. Maybe put a few things like qualities in there, like uh, easy, fun, playful, um, exciting. Maybe you want some excitement. Maybe you need a little bit more razzmatazz in your life uh, to help tickle your body and put those out into the energy in front of you. And now contribution is actually contributing energy to those choices. And you do that by drawing energy in from the unlimited universe. So if you can once again acknowledge the edge of wherever you have expanded to and pull energy from all places in the universe and the planet and your friends and your family and people you know and the people you don't know and start pulling it into that choice. What happens when you pull these energies in is more energy is available to create your choice and more possibilities for your choice to end up differently than anything you could expect, i.e be far better than anything you can expect. So just keep pulling. You can just ask the energy to move from the universe into that space in front of you. And if any thoughts or feelings or emotions are coming up, um, thoughts, feelings, and emotions are basically barriers. They're things you put up so that things will actually stay in place or in line so you can reach a predetermined goal. Now, when you're using these tools, there's billions of different possibilities and how it actually might show up. So if we can, we're going to use a little clearing statement here to do it, but if you'd be willing to destroy and uncreate all of your thoughts, feelings, and emotions about contribution and pulling energy into your choices, there's going to be a different possibility. We we'll use the fabulous access consciousness clearing statement here which is a simple clearing statement to erase everything that's going on in your world that you weren't aware of that doesn't allow you to have what you're desiring <clears throat> so everything that doesn't allow that well let's destroy and uncreate times a godzillion good bad right or wrong pock and pod all nine shorts boys and beyonds once again, if you want to know more about that clearing statement, go to www.theclearingstatement.com. Dr. Dane here will give you a little example of how it works. Actually, it's quite a cute example. He's, he's pretty cute in the video. Yeah. Anyway, so keep pulling all those energies in and all the barriers, anything that's coming up in your mind as you're pulling energy in, would you be willing to push all those barriers down on three? One two, three. Just like rolling the window down on your car. It's as easy as that. You can have, as long as you have more than one IQ point, you can do it. So I think that pretty much covers the whole globe. Okay, and now acknowledge, is there a sensory difference? Is there more energy being pulled into your choices? Your body may have some sensorial change in awareness you may feel different. You may start yawning as the energy starts to move. You may be more aware of things in your body. Now, as you're starting to pull energy into your new choices, you also are pulling energy through your body into your choices. So it really brings more energy into your world so you can have a different possibility. So, um... That, my friends, is called an energy pull. Now, um, on part number five, we're going to talk about energy flows also, which are um, stuff you can do all day, every day with everyone. So you can start having more of what you want without even having to run through the five elements of creation. And we'll look forward to seeing you guys on that call, or in this case, hearing you guys on that call. Hopefully I'll have better internet for that.
for that next one.